Hi Stampers! Welcome back to another video tutorial at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. Earlier on my website this week I posted this flower pot card to my blog and um, I wanted my flower pot to just go directly on an average size four and a quarter by five and a half base. If you're familiar with the flower pot card, you know that the um, flower pot card actually has a back to it where you can open it and then that's where your greeting goes or your greeting can go inside and out. But um, I wanted to just have my flower pot card on my base. So there's nothing on the back of my card. You could most definitely put a piece of cardstock if you had a larger greeting or a longer note that you wanted to write but essentially what it is is when you pull the flowers out there is where you can put your little note or your greeting and then you just stick it back in here and when it's you know not opened it just looks like a really pretty flower pot so let's go ahead and get started on how I made this pot first what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock I'm using the Calypso Coral today and this is cut at three and a half by five and a half. And we need to do some scoring. So we need to get our paper trimmer out. And I'm going to be using the light gray blade. Let's see if I can move you a little bit if you can, so you can see better. And what we're going to do is we need to make our first score mark at one and a quarter. So right there on the top is one and a quarter. Now, Normally, what you would do in the original flower pot card, which I'll post um, the directions of that card on my blog too, um, the dimensions and everything, but with this card, instead of doing cutting um, to get our diagonal right here, we're actually going to be doing some scoring. So let me see if I can move you a tad bit closer just so you can see what we're doing here. Okay. So to get the diagonal look of the pot, what you need to do is take this score mark, the point of this score mark, and the point of your paper, and you need to diagonally put them in your paper trimmer. Now on the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, on the smaller side over here, our measurements go all the way to one and a quarter. So we need to put this score mark right here in the cutting section and then we need to put the peak of our cardstock down here at the half inch mark. So we just diagonally do that right there, close this and then make a score line making sure to use the light gray um, blade or else you're going to cut it. So now can you see that on the camera? Now we just have that one diagonal score mark right there. So then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our corner of our score mark here and then we're going to find the half inch mark over here and then we're going to make a score line. So now it looks like that. So let me move you back out. Sorry if you're dizzy a little bit. I wanted to make sure that you could see that though. So now what we do is we're going to fold these score marks in, just like that. And then we're going to fold our, oop, if I could get it even, that would help. That's always a good thing is if it's even. Let me get my bone folder here, reinforce these lines real well. And then we're going to, whatever way you folded your flaps in, you want to fold your top flap down. And there's your pot. How cute is that? So now, to make the scallop that I used on my card, I used the scallop um, border punch. And a lot of people ask me how I get this even. And all I do is I make sure that on both sides right here, my paper is even. I make my first punch, and then I go over and I line the scallops up on one side, and then I come back and I line them up on the other side. And then it gives you a perfect scallop on the top right there. Cute. Okay. 
and this score line here is still not working with me here. So let me just, there we go. Okay. So now, for the base of my card, I decided to use a piece of crumb cake, and this is just cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, and I took my sponge and crumb cake ink, and I sponged all around the edges just to give it some depth. And so now see, this flower pot is going to go right here on the card, just like that. So I'm going to take my snail, and again, as always, I would use red adhes adhesive um, sticky strip or even your Tumbow glue, um, but I'm just going to use snail right now for the video. And you want to put snail down there on those little tabs, and that's what's going to hook your flower pot to your card. Perfect. And if you wanted to take, which I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take some mini glue dots and I'm just going to stick a mini glue dot right here, right here in this corner, just to give it a little bit more of a hold. But you don't want to put snail or anything there because then you're not going to be able to get your inside greeting in. So you want to make sure that you put your glue dot all the way to the side. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now for the inside part of our card, we need a piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to grab a piece of Whisper White here that I forgot to grab before the video. All right, a piece of Whisper White or whatever color you want for the inside. And this needs to be cut at two and a quarter by five. So it's not a very large place to put a greeting, but that's okay, because you can still put a greeting on the back if you'd like. So now see, now the card fits in there perfectly. Okay, so now before we go to decorating our inside piece, to finish off our little lip here, I'm going to take my Early Espresso Baker's Twine. And I'm just going to get a whole bunch off here. I'm going to take my mini glue dot again. And I'm going to put the edge of my baker's twine right here on my mini glue dot. Just like that. And then I'm just going to wrap this around as many times as I want or until I get the look that I want. And right now I'm just wrapping. I don't want it to necessarily have a design or anything. I'm just wrapping. And I think I want three wraps right there. There we go. That looks good to me. So I'm going to bring this back over to my glue dot that I put down and I'm going to stick it down and then I'm just going to cut off the access take my mini glue dots again. There's a lot of glue dots in this project. And I'm going to stick them right here on my flap right there. And oops, right here on the other side of the flap. Get this even. There we go. And then stick it down. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, so now to decorate your inside of your card, what I like to do is I like to stick my greeting into my card and I like to take a pencil and make a line because then I know that my flowers or whatever you know I'm using to decorate it, leaves or anything, can't go below that line. And if they do, which they can, you want to make sure that they're not glued down. So no glue below that line. So for my flowers today, I'm using the brand new stamp set um, flower shop. It's in the new uh, Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And I absolutely love these flowers. They're so cute. And they come with a coordinating um, uh, pansy punch. So 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 cute. 
So with those, I stamped out two different colors. I stamped and um, punched out the Strawberry Slush and Blushing Bride. And I used this image right there for the set, or from the set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start placing them around wherever I want. Some up at the top, in the middle, however you want your bouquet to look. It can be cluttered, it cannot be cluttered. It's really just however you want it to look. Now see, I just put a flower below that line, but that's okay because when there's no ink. So see how it can puff up right there? So no worries that the actual flower is below the line. Just no sticky. Put that there. And then I'm actually going to take a dimensional and pop up this last flower here just to give it some more something. There, just like that. And if it was me, I would personally probably add some more flowers, but this is all that I cut for the video, so that's just how it's gonna look. And then we're just gonna stick this in there like that. See, I personally don't like all that that you can see, and it's not, so I would add some more, but this is essentially how the card would look when it's finished. And that's it. That's how you make the little terracotta pot or whatever color pot you wanted on a piece of normal cardstock. And then you just stick your greeting right in there like that. Wonderful! And here's the other one that I made. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Until next time, happy inking!